Great defending by Roy Keane. There aren't many that can stop him when he's in the mood. Enter Massimo Taibi, signed for four and a half million pounds from Italian club Venezia. He made his debut at Anfield, but it wasn't the happiest of starts. After five minutes, he flapped at Jamie Redknapp's free kick, and Sammy Herpia happily headed into an empty net. But the problems re-emerged two weeks later against Southampton when Taibi let the softest of shots slip through his fingers. It catapulted Bosnich back into the number one position. At the midway point of the season, Leeds were staking their claim to the championship ahead of Manchester United and Arsenal. Newly promoted Sunderland were everyone's surprise package, but Chelsea were struggling for consistency. Manchester United travelled to Brazil to take part in the Club World Championship, having been excused from the FA Cup. That gave Leeds the chance to open the gap at the top, but defeats against Arsenal and Aston Villa meant David O'Leary's side couldn't capitalise. Manchester United returned from Brazil to meet Arsenal first up. Their rivals had failed to pull clear during United's absence. Leeds were only a point in front, and the champions had games in hand on both. That's a difficult balance for Stam. It's young man! And yes, Arsenal are ahead! Good ball in towards the far post. Seaman, Beckham back in. Must be an equaliser for Teddy Sheringham. Manchester United are level. The magic substitute has done it again. United not hanging about. Corner taken quickly. Here's Gary Neville's cross. Oh, what a miss from York. What a miss. He stooped. York did not. York is on the prowl. Oh, it's gone behind Giggs, but it comes to Roy Keane. Ooh. Plenty of power on that one. Janinho's on another burst here. And he's still going. And it opens up here for Janinho. Oh, and Stam. Penalty given. Stam's challenge on Janinho. And incredibly at Old Trafford. Middlesbrough have a spot kick. Stam slid in. And the United players are going furious at Andy Pierso. Stan claiming he got the ball as he wrapped his foot in around the boy from Brazil. This will be just against the run of play a little bit. It's Janinho. Oh, super save from Bosnitz. Brilliant. Skulls, Nicky Butts, finds David Beckham, is this the moment? Scores his first Premiership goal of the season, but it squirmed horribly underneath Mark Swartzer. Freeze, I've always said I've had enough job to do, you know, and I mean that. Um, and to go chasing the referee, yeah, to be fair, if he stood still, to be fair, I don't think we would have chased him. Just... <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I don't think we would have, you know, if his hand was grown, but he kept running and we kept chasing him. So. Yeah, but it was obviously the photograph, again, it was probably only until the next year, a few days later, when the photographs came out, and um, it looked pretty bad, to be fair, and um, referees deserve better than that, and we've been told on certain terms by the manager that it's unacceptable, you know. Special players and as me as captain, you know, should be uh, leading a better example. And you know, we, we obviously regret it, and uh, 
it won't happen again. Dervish resumed on the club front with victory at Elland Road. Yet, despite a six-point lead at the top, Captain Keane believes the champions must improve to match last year's success. Definitely, haven't reached nowhere near what we did. I think last year, as I said, we need we need to you know, improve in order 10, 15, maybe even 20 percent individually and as a team if we want to. Um, retain the Premiership in the European Cup. Another record fell at Old Trafford with 61,592 watching Manchester United against Liverpool. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer levelled it, moving United ever closer to another title. Despite serious injury putting paid to the £18 million Rude van Nistelrooy deal and defeat in the Champions League at the hands of Real Madrid, April wasn't all bad for Manchester United. The Hammers were hammered, 7-1. Middlesbrough proved a tougher challenge. 1-0 down at the break, United responded to win a thriller 4-3. Next, Sunderland were brushed aside four goals to nil as United headed for record totals of 91 points and 97 goals. The job was completed at Southampton. Hunger, desire, class, champions, Manchester United. Six titles in eight years, this is Manchester United's era. Natural hunger, they've got character. And I think they've got the determination to go another uh, challenge because they're all young enough. But I think they're, they're the best side matches they've ever had. For everyone watching Mark Nibri, Premiership side, the fancies their chances. They've set the standard, you not only have to match it, you have to beat it. Boom time United, baby boom time. The kids are growing up and the future's secure. It's a team maturing together, a rare mixture of rich experience and precocious young talent. They never tire of winning at Old Trafford, the kids are United. <laughs> What's United's driving force? Um, I think um, it comes from the manager. Uh, don't through everyone at the club. I think we're hungry for success, uh, we're determined. That effort is very evident in Keane's contributions this season. His captaincy has been exemplary and he's led the way from midfield with 11 goals. But with a new boot deal and lucrative club contract under his belt, how does he motivate himself week in, week out? A lot of players got to come from inside you. Yeah. Um, I've been very fortunate, you know, in my career. Um, uh, financially and obviously winning championships or whatever, it's great. But um, that doesn't bother me, as I said, um, it's a short career, you've got to make the most of it. And that's uh, by trying to win every uh, competition you enter, and that's my aim. And hopefully that will continue for the next few years, because that's where a club like Manchester United belongs, winning championships and European Cups, because um, it went a long time without winning championships and now obviously the European Cup. And the fans deserve better than that, and uh, that's our job to do. We've all heard it before, Man United, no one likes us. Is there a siege mentality within the club? Uh, well, I don't think so, no. Um, again, uh, 
one of the biggest clubs in the world, you're going to have uh, you know, critics. And it's just part of life, you know, you're up there to be shot at. And um, I don't think the play, I think Wimbledon obviously done it for years, saying, uh, you know, a small club and blah, blah, blah. But I think they, they use that for their advantage, to be fair to them. But I don't think we do. Um, as I said, uh, we're up there to be shot at, and you've just got to take it and get on with it. The PFA Player of the Year, who would you nominate? Kevin Phillips. Really? Yes. Why? Because it's the goals he scored. Any thought at all to you being the player's player of the year? Um, not really, no. It doesn't bother me in the least. Football of the year? It doesn't bother me. It really doesn't. And that's not being disrespectful, you know, to my fellow members or the writers. But individual rewards don't bother me in the least. And it's, it's a team game. And as long as we're in the Championship in the European Cup, that's all I'll be worried about.